In the equity quadrant, taking a look at the March NASDAQ futures, the streak finally ends six days down, finished with a positive day on the seventh day. That was up 1.04% on the close. That was also the high, by the way, 13,330. That was basically the close as well, right around there, give or take one point or so. And on the downside, we actually got below 13,000 on the March NASDAQ. 12,958 was your low, down 1.77%. So again, six down sessions, but finished positive today. Coming off the lows today, just like it did yesterday. Look at how much, how much dramatically lower the NASDAQ was this morning and then to finish higher. The NASDAQ was down quite a bit yesterday, finished up near that open, but didn't quite turn positive on the day. Interest rates backed up today and that was part of the reason the two year, which was at one, uh, I'm sorry, 0.137%, actually fell to 0.129%. The five year, which had spiked to 0.615 this morning, ended up around 0.602. The 10 year from 1.408. And remember, the high of that was 1.427, ended up closing about 1.382. Same on the 30 year, 2.26 earlier in the day to 2.225 in the high of the 30 year in terms of the yield was 2.295. So yields really backed up and those high yields had been hurting stocks in general, but specifically the NASDAQ. So you had to be really careful when you were watching the yields today. They actually drove higher on the backs of Jerome Powell, again, reassuring the House of Representatives this time that the Fed was going to be there with stimulus and low rates. But he got some backup today from Vice, Vice Chair Richard Clarida when talking about interest rates. He emphasized the Fed's new strategy on controlling inflation would be more flexible and less tied to old rules. Inflation has been low for years, he said, and he expects it to stay that way. Quote, a low unemployment rate in and of itself will not be sufficient to trigger a tightening of monetary policy absent any evidence from other indicators that inflation is at risk of moving significantly higher, end quote. So he basically is comfortable with the monetary policy uh, the way it is now. So is Jerome Powell, so was Leo Brainerd. All of that supported stocks today, especially the NASDAQ.